B-Nox. What up, y'all? Welcome back to B-Nox TV. On this episode, I'm going to shed some light on some other Bay Area factors that was moving in 93. The Yay Area, home of some of the best to ever do it. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Let's get it. On June 17th, 1993, Dre Dog dropped his debut album, The New Jim Jones, released under In A Minute Records. Now for those that don't know, Dre Dog is the former name of Andre Nicotina that he changed back in 1997. Production was handled by TC and Dre Dog himself. This had cuts like The Ave, Smoke Dope and Rap, Lips, and Dirty Rats, featuring Totally Insane. Shout out to Dre Dog. Next, we have Mac Maul, who dropped his debut album, Illegal Business, on July 13th, 1993. Production was handled by Kyrie Shaheed. This album had cuts like Sick With This, It's All Good, I Gots To Have It, Crack The 40, Young In The Game, My Opinion, and Ghetto Theme. Now, in case you didn't know, the video you're watching was directed by Tupac himself. Now at this time, Pac was really heating up on the West, with Strictly For My Ends. So you know that was a huge look for Mac Maul. Shout out to Mac Maul. October 11th, 1993, Totally Insane dropped Going Insane. Now this group consisted of members Ad Capone, Scott Dog, and Mac 10, not to be confused with the Mac 10 from Inglewood. Production was handled by TC and Stingy. This album had cuts like Going Insane featuring Dre Dog, It's On, The Bad Hand, the Times, and Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Totally Insane. October 26, 1993. Too Short dropped Get In Where You Fit In. So, just like my previous video, I'm not gonna spend too much time here. Go check out my video I did on Too Short if you wanna hear my breakdown on this album. Go check it out. Now, as far as the video plan, I can't recall seeing this when it came out, nor was I aware that there was a video for this. I recently found this a couple of years ago, and I think it's pretty dope. Now if you knew about this video back in the day, leave it in the comments. Shout out to Too Short. On November 30th, 1993, Sean T dropped his debut album, Straight From The Streets. This album had 14 tracks. Production was handled by G-Man Stan and Sean T himself. This had cuts like Get Gone, Gangsta Ish, As a Youngster, Stay Off the D, <laughs> Gotta Keep It Clean, and Only the Strong Survive. Shout out to Sean T. Now before I get out of here, I want to shout out Coonet and the Ill Manor Posse better known as the IMP. They dropped back in the days in 1993 as well. This album had the legendary song, Scandalous, and my other favorite song, Don't Try to Play Me. Rest in peace to Cool Nut. And that wraps things up for this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't. I got more content coming soon, so stay tuned. Till next time.